हेलो चिल्ड्रेन आई एम निशा हियर फ्रॉम मंगला विद्या मंदिरा होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग चिल्ड्रेन एंड सो टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू पोम व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द पोम चिल्ड्रेन कैन वी हैव अ लुक द नेम ऑफ द पोम इज क्राइंग व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द पोम क्राइंग सो चिल्ड्रेन व्हेन द वर्ड आई व्हेन द व्हेन आई सेड क्राइंग देयर विल बी लॉट्स ऑफ इमोशंस मूविंग इन योर माइंड करेक्ट lots of things like uh, like what kind of emotions are there okay we'll just have a look like every human being experiences different emotions correct right or wrong children so when you are sad you will have a different emotion when you are happy the emotions will be totally different so it's a beautiful poem written by galve kinnel so now who is galve kinnel just we'll have a look okay galve kinnel he was an american poet and was and was an award winning poet who is well known for his a poetry that connects the experience of daily life to much larger poetic spiritual and cultural forces often focusing on the claims of nature and society on the individuals he has served as a poet in residence at numerous college and universities including the university of california at iwin and columbia university so this is a short introduction about galve kinnell who is an who was an american poet now children open page number 58 in your textbook so the name of the poem again i am repeating it is crying so we'll start with each and every paragraph there is hardly two paragraph children so i'll be just explaining you every i will i will just explaining you one by one paragraph so as i told children every human being experiences different emotions like happiness sad suffering and all as a kid even you must be having different kind of emotion just think of a times when you are feeling sad angry or depressed okay so here in this poem we see a child who is crying till his pillow gets wet so let us read the poem and find it out what what he does after that so the very first paragraph is crying only a little but is no use you must cry until your pillow is soaked soaked means getting wet then you can jump in the shower and splash 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 so in the first paragraph in the first stanza the poet has told the the poet is telling like whenever you feel like crying okay you should cry till your heart out okay you should keep on crying till your heart gets out cry till your pillow gets wet okay you keep on crying so that your pillows will get wet you lie down and cry so that your pillows will get wet after that you can have a good shower and splash 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 after crying what you can do you can just get up and have a good bath so that is the thing poet is explaining in the first stanza second one then you can can throw open your window and ha 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 and if people say hey what's going up on there ha 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 sing back happiness was hiding in the last tear i wept it ha 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 so here so the poet is telling in the second stanza that crying is having its own healing i mean when you feel when you feel sorry what when you feel depressed when you feel sad you should cry completely leaving all the sadness and move on towards the new life okay move on towards the new life and be happy so you should not sit and think you know no 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 something has happened to me so if something has happened also cry for a moment and finish it off then you can go ahead with your new life and even though if you are having um, like what you can do the poet is telling like you can open the window and just laugh out ha 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 like that you have to laugh out and again you have to start singing the song so the happiness what is there in the last tear okay it will be wept off so it's a very short poem children so what you have to do you have to learn this poem and recite and share it in the video don't forget to do that children you have to learn this poem and recite the same and share it in the video so hope there is no confusion in this poem so moving on to the next part that is exercise part okay so what is there can we have a look new words okay what is new words we'll just have a look new words the very first word is soaked soaked means completely wet next one is shower bath in which water is sprayed from above okay so you all must be having uh, you must you all must have experienced the shower thing when you take bath so it is it is an uh, what we call it is a bath equipment which is fixed in the bathroom so you can take 
shower in that you can take bath in that shower also wept means shed tears okay cried so moving to the question answer children according to the poet now according to the poet uh, like uh, should uh, should you cry a little or should you cry more so what the poet is telling like according to the poet you should cry more or you should cry less so the poet is telling like we should cry a lot i mean we should cry too much so the first question answer is we should cry a lot the second is when you when can you do after crying what can you do after crying a lot means you can have a nice bath after crying a lot now next one is read the first two lines in the poem is the mood happy is the mood sad is the mood angry is the mood jealous is the mood upset so in the very first one it is sad correct because the child is crying in the last few lines the mood of the poet has changed was it now happy angry cheerful sad and jealous so second stanza the child is very cheerful okay next one are this sentence right or wrong it's true or false children the very first one is the poet says that uh, you must not cry much what did the poet said the poet said you should cry more okay you should cry a lot the very first one sentence is false second one the poet says that you should cry till your pillow is so correct the poet has told you should keep on crying so that your pillow will get soaked next one the poet says that after crying you should open the window and laugh so that people will see that you are happy true the poet has said this in the second stanza the poet says that you should open the window and show people that you are crying no poet has not told like that poet has told you should open the window and you should make others feel that i am very happy in my life so the first one is false second is true number 3 true and the last one is false okay moving to the next exercise say aloud okay so there are few things given yes there are few things given let's talk when did you cry okay here the poet is telling where do you cry what are the things that make you cry so children what are the things that make you cry can you can you just think about it there are many things okay that will make us cry so what are things like suppose if your mom is holding you okay right so you will feel cry okay at the same time when uh, what are the things that make you happy so when you are, when your parents have given you some beautiful gift when some important gift so you will feel very happy that moment and can you cry when you feel when you are happy no you don't have to cry when you are feeling happy so which are the things that make you cry make you happy in what ways do you show your happiness sometimes if your parents have given you a gift you show your ha happiness by giving them a beautiful hug okay so these are the uh, sentence these are the questions which we need to only discuss see allowed there are few uh, words given children you need to read it out okay next one is word building the word happiness ends with n e s s ness and comes from the word happy right three words that end in the same way which words do they come from like there are few words like clever okay so children cleverness then ugliness then neatness then politeness so these are the words where n e s s is used so you have to just write it down in the textbook next main filling the blanks so what is that children we'll have a look filling the blanks with the exact feeling word okay so you just have to find it out three options are given so with that option you need to make a sentence okay you have to fill in the blank and make a sentence the tourist were okay the tourist were amazed to see the beautiful taj mahal next one the lights went out suddenly i was alone and frightened next one he has been ill for a long time and his parents were unhappy and he was he has been ill for a long time and his parents were worried okay not unhappy their parents were worried the shopkeeper was the shopkeeper was shocked okay when he saw his safe wide open with all his money missing so the first one is amazed second frightened then worried then next then shocked okay so these are the fill in the blanks which you have to write it in the textbook now creative writing moving to the next main creative writing so children 
there is one incident has been narrated okay so here like you have to uh, make a paragraph with that incident like uh, you have to share your experience whether it is whether you are having happiness whether it's an excitement whether you are surprised okay there are few clues also given which you can use it and then you have to form a paragraph like suppose uh, like you have went somewhere okay you saw something you feel happy at the same time what kind of surprise you got okay so just you have to try by yourself and write it in the notebook okay this you don't have to write in the textbook this you have to write it in the notebook next page moving to the next page 63 so nothing is there children it is just a uh, food for thought it is you just have to read it out okay so this poem is over if you have any confusion regarding this so we'll just have a look for that okay you can post it in the group or you can just message me so now moving to the next main okay what is the next main children we'll just have a look my elder brother so what is that my elder brother it's a new lesson children okay it's a very beautiful lesson you will really enjoy it when you will start reading this lesson so it has been taken from uh, it has written from uh, it is written by munshi premchand who is a hindi poet and it is translated with uh, like one hindi lesson is there one hindi writing is there bade bhai sahab so that less that uh, means what we call that book got translated and he has written that book in hindi first then that same story has been translated into english by telling my elder brother okay so what is there in this we'll just have a look now this is a short play about two brothers okay who are affectionate and respectful to each other so they love each other a lot look can you see in the picture like one is elder brother bhaiya and the another one is younger brother is munna The story shows that learning from day-to-day -day experience is as important as what we learn from books in the school. Now, here, what the story is telling, like every every day, you will be having some more experience in life. Of course, yes, you are going to school, you are studying so many things, but that is all book knowledge. But apart from that, also, children, there are many things what you experience in our day-to-day -day life. That makes sense. The play is based on the famous story Hindi Bade Bhai Sab, written by Munshi Premchand. Okay. So now here, what are the hobbies of elder brother? We'll just have a look. Hobbies of elder brother is he keep on studying. He likes to study a lot and making foundation strong. He always feels like if I study more, my foundation, my base will be very strong. Okay. And what is the qualities of a younger brother? Okay, younger brother name is Munna. Now Munna run, likes to run to the field. He likes to play marbles. He's likes to play fly paper kites then uh, he likes to sit idle he loves green field then he likes gentle breeze so many things football kayak kabaddi so those are the things which he likes to play he is not at all studious okay he is more into playing things so children we'll start with the lesson my elder brother page number 64 open children now here this is purely a role play children so suppose if physical class is open we would have done it in the classroom so here they have given scene one okay it, it is a role play so they have started with scene one now in that scene one there is a hostel room a hostel room two brothers age 9 and 14 years sitting on a study table the elder brother bhaiya is reading a book and the younger one munna is doing is drawing pictures of birds and animals <laughs> Now in the first scene what is shown children like two brothers are sitting just next to the table study table and the elder brother is elder brother is continuously reading the book he is very studious he is reading the book but the younger one what he is doing he is just drawing the pictures of birds and animals now the dialogue starts between bhaiya and munna the entire story is a role play children and it is a conversation what is happening between brother elder brother and the younger one so shall we start children Okay, first one, Bhaiya. What are you doing, Munna? Munna, I am drawing. Bhaiya, when will you study? Where are you in the morning? Munna, turning pale. Turning pale means beginning his face light. Was playing. I was playing, Bhaiya. How can you sit with the book for hours together? Bhaiya, that's because I want my foundation in education to be very strong. If the base is strong, then the building will stand firmly. Sometimes it takes me two years to be one year's work. So here in the first scene, what happened? Like both were sitting, but the elder one is studying and the younger one is doing some drawing. So he is telling what you are doing. He is telling Munna. Elder one is telling what you are doing, Munna. Can't you study? Like what you are doing in the morning? So he is telling no. I went for play. 
so and he is asking one question to the elder brother ke bhaiya you are not feeling bored like uh, every now and then you will be holding the book and sitting and you are reading only so the elder one said to see the thing is what muna i want to make my foundation strong okay in education and i want to if the foundation is strong then the building will be definitely firm so what he is telling it will it may take 2 years okay to make that foundation strong but i want to work hard muna bhaiya you are 5 years older than i and three classes ahead of me i wonder why you keep writing the same word 20 times one sentence more than 20 times and copy poem several times in beautiful letters now he is telling bhaiya i know that you are elder to me five years elder to me at the same time so you are three years three classes ahead to me miss a little friend miss he is in suppose if he is in fourth standard then the elder one will be in seventh class three classes ahead i wonder why you keep writing the same word miss the brother is doing the same work again and again he is writing the poem also again and again he is studying the same thing again and again you know bhaiya said you know studying english is not child's play one has to work very hard in learn, to learn the subject to speak or write english properly tremendous effort tremendous is more effort is required but the moment you get a chance you run to the field play marbles and fly paper kites or sit idle okay so he is telling sit idling away with friends or funs can't you sit down and study so here he is telling ki see english study is not that easy to learn english is really difficult especially to speak or write okay so it needs lots of effort but the moment you are getting a chance what you are doing muna you are just going to the field playing with your friends like you will be playing marbles you will be flying kites so can't you sit and study for some time so he is just asking his brother okay bhaiya there is a big mela in the village so again he is telling there is a big mela in the village so should we go there he is asking in the village today so should we go there he wanted to go for a mela the younger one wanted to go for a mela have you ever seen me going to a fair or going to watch a cricket or hockey match i don't go near them i prefer to study a book i does i don't mind repeating a class for more than 2 years but you might stay in the same class and your life and as same class all your life do you expect to pass if you waste your time playing all the time you are simply wasting father's hard and money now he is asking the younger one ki have you ever seen that i am interested to play cricket hockey anything no i don't like even i don't like to go to the fair also and simply you are wasting the hard and money of your father because our parents are really working hard but since you are not studying we are wasting their money Munna starts crying or being scolded and being scolded and so being sounds wa 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 ba 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 hu 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 are heard. So now Munna started cry, crying because the elder brother has little shouted at him. Bhaiya, I felt like running away and going back home. Now, no, stop crying. Put on a nice smile. Look, I will make a timetable for you to follow. Get up at down. Down means morning, children. so what he is telling you don't worry okay fine now stop crying i'll just make a timetable for you so wherein what all activities you have to do from morning till evening so he had made a timetable for munna and he has given to you like from 6 am what he has to do till 10 o'clock in the night so moving to the next page but when is the time to play now in that timetable there is no play time it is all like uh, subjects he has mentioned can you see the children subjects he has mentioned what all subjects he has to learn like washing hand then dinner everything he has mentioned but he has not mentioned any playing time bhaiya play what is the need munna now bhaiya is telling playing what is the need of playing munna oh i love the green fields the gentle breeze the warm i want to jump up the up like a football i like the touch and go out of a is telling i like the touch and go out of a uh, what we call out of i like the touch and go and hututu sounds of the kabaddi and the hurry and flurry of volleyball pulls me like a magnet as soon as i am on the field i forget everything so is telling no 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 bhaiya see the thing is i when i went to field when i go to field i really like to enjoy the gentle breeze i like to play kabaddi i like to play for volleyball okay so then, then i don't remember anything i just feel i just don't feel like coming back scene 2 now one scene is over children in the role play one scene is over now the second scene has come the final exams are over and the results are out now they have already given the exams and they got the result alas i have failed once again bhai yes oh oh shit i have failed once see alas after interrogation sign is there 
सो मुन्ना ओ बट भैया आई हैव पास एंड टॉप माई क्लास नाउ देर इज ऑनली टू ईयर्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन अस सो मुन्ना से ओ यू फेल्ड भैया बट आई पास ओके आई क्लियर आई स्कोर गुड मार्क्स ऑल्सो एंड नाउ देर इज ऑनली टू ईयर्स डिफरेंस ओके बिकॉज यू वॉज थ्री क्लास आई हेड फ्रॉम हिम नाउ इट बिकम टू क्लास डिफरेंसेस भैया बट माई ब्रदर डोंट बी सो प्राउड यू हैव पास ओनली वन क्लास इन यू थिंक आई एम स्टूपिड एंड यू आर स्मार्ट वंस इन अ वाइल इन गुना गुली डंडा गेम यू माइट गेट लक्की एंड हिट अगल बट दैट डजन मीन ओके दैट डजन मीन दैट यू आर यू हैव मास्टर द गेम यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड टू बी सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ वेन यू हैव टू स्टडी आ सब्जेक्ट लाइक एल जी ब्रा और जोमेट्री इन अ हायर क्लास देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ हार्ड वर्क इन जोमेट्री इफ वन राइट्स ए सी बी इंस्टेड ऑफ ए बी सी द आंसर इज मार्क रॉन्ग द एक्साम Examiners will not spare you. They want you to learn word by word from the textbook. So he told, "Okay, fine, Munna. Like one time you have just scored. That doesn't mean that you have mastered it everything. Like suppose if you are playing a gully danda, one time you are lucky to enough to play the game. For second time there is nothing. You can hit a goal, but that doesn't mean that every time you will be doing a successful uh, game. You will be playing a successful uh, game." Now again he is telling like in a geometry if you are writing a, a, a B C instead of A C B, so the answer will be considered as a wrong only. The master is not going to give you mark for the wrong answer. Muna, oh, boy, sir, this is scary. I don't think I want to go to the ninth class now, but I will uh, sit. I will still complete my day's homework so that I get no punishment in class. He said, "Of course, yes, boy. Whatever you are saying, I understood, but I don't like to reach to the ninth standard. So what I am right now doing is I will finish my homework because if I don't do homework, my teacher is going to punish me." Just today, we are asked to write a short essay on the topic of punctuality in four pages. And imagine, can something be written on four pages and still be short? It's all so mixed up. Uh, thinking aloud, th- thinking aloud, Munna. Thank God, it was a time for school, or else the scolding would have gone on and on. So now, what happened? Like he is telling, he just imagine. Bhaiya has told that today in the class they have given us to write a short, uh, short sentence, write few sentences like a essay kind, essay, essay kind. the teacher has given and the topic was punctuality so in four pages they have to write that and they and it he is telling that it's not that easy to mention each and everything properly it was all jumbled so now next one munna like now the scene 3 has come the result were out once again and it is and uh, it is so happened that munna passed and again the bhaiya failed bhaiya was really upset munna was also sad seeing his brother so unhappy bhaiya now becomes gentle with munna Munna became not here because of this and studied even less than before. Now uh, one two scenes are over, children. Now the third scene has come. In that third scene again the result was out. The exam got over, and Munna got good marks, but Bhaiya got fail. Now there is uh, only one class difference between both the brothers. Munna. Ah, I am lucky. I can pass easily. I uh, I used. I need not study so hard. Now I can play games. with my friends and fly kites but i should still be careful that bhaiya does not see the flying see me flying kites so what he is telling okay again i have plus passed so i can just go out and play nicely i can fly the kites also next one one day a kite is flying along a slowly downwards munna starts running in order to grab it suddenly he comes face to face with bhaiya so one day what happen a kite is flying and munna started running in order to grab the kite okay he thought he will go and catch the kite so suddenly what happen he just went in front of his uh, brother and he stood there catching hold of munna's hand he just hold his younger brother's hand bhaiya said aren't you ashamed to be playing kites all day long don't you realize that now you are in the 8th class and not studying in a lower class if you think that i am just one class ahead of you and i can't say anything you are wrong i am 5 years older than you are and will be always understanding doesn't come and will be always be there like that understanding doesn't come from the reading books look at ma and baba ma has never gone to school and baba has only passed the fifth class so he is tell he is telling he just hold a held his hand i told what you are doing for the entire day you will be playing kites only so you just don't think that you got pass mark and i failed means you are elder to me no even though i am one class ahead with you but i am five years elder to you right i have more experience than you have okay and he is giving an example of ma and papa like how they are even though they have not studied well but they learn they know many things okay they know many things because through their experiences really bhaiya is that true so he is asking oh is it so so ma papa knows everything 
yes there are thousand things that they know more than you and me and even if if we have studied the wisdom of the whole world ma and baba will always be having the same ma and baba will always be right and explain to us and correct us now what would you do if you if i were to fall sick today okay i don't know bhaiya i would tell baba and he would rush to the hostel so now bhaiya is telling that like ma and papa you know they, even though they are not studied well but they have lots of experience by observing day to day uh, day to day life so he is giving one question like what would you do if i fall sick today so munna said like i don't know bhaiya i would just call up papa baba and ma and they will rush you to the they will rush to the hostel bhai aha i had expected this answer na baba will not get upset he would first try to find it out what was wrong then he would call a doctor baba would know exactly what to do they have more experience than us so he just asked the question so munna said like if if you are sick bhai i will just call the i will just call baba and ma and they will just rush to the hostel so he said no 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 it's not like that baba will just find it out with what reason i got sick and he will try to find a doctor munna with tears in his eyes bhaiya i am sorry i am i am sorry what sh- what you say is true bhaiya hugs munna lovingly then munna has told bhai i am really sorry but whatever you are telling is 100% right i agree with your statement bhaiya i also like to play and fly kites but if i do so how can i watch out for you you are my responsibility okay so bhaiya is telling see munna it's not like that ki i don't like to fly kites i don't like to play games i also like to play games but you, then if i go and play outside who will take care of you because you are younger to me and you are my responsibility so definitely i need to take care of you okay so munna also loved bhaiya and both of them loved each other hugged each other so lovingly and he told i love you bhaiya so this is a beautiful story written by munshi prem chand from a hindi version bade bhai sahab so which has been translated into english and that has been given in lesson number 4 so moving to the new words foundation foundation means solid base schedule schedule means time table essay composition on any subject okay any topic will be given and you have to write an essay killing without any purpose mastered gained expertise okay skill masters means experienced okay so these are the uh, what we call lesson these are the story of that lesson the elder brother it's a beautiful story hope you have enjoyed children now here moving to the next main that is question answer keywords and word meaning i will be sending you through pdf and here the question answer i will start one by one what are the things that munna like to do munna like to walk in the green fields he also like to play marbles and fly paper kites next one what did bhaiya do all day bhaiya read book because he is very studious na children so he like to read only books next one why was munna not happy with the time table that bhaiya has made for him because he has not kept any uh, place uh, any time for playing okay in that time table there was no time for playing it's always only studying studying and studying how do you think munna felt when his brother so was so strict with him why was bhaiya so strict with him because munna felt like running away and going back home when his brother was so strict with him bhaiya was strict with him because he did not study much and instead went outside to play with his friends so that is the reason bhaiya got angry and become very strict whose character do you like more munna or bhaiya why so now it depends up to you children like whose character you like whether you like the character of a munna or either the whether you like the character of bhaiya okay like especially with my experience i like munna's character most because he likes to play and enjoy his life with complete fun he is not boring like his bhaiya who always likes to study the whole day he is quite a fun loving child now moving to the next main it is a letter writing okay children creative writing so here the format of letter is given to you letter to friends and close families are written in the same way as you speak now it's a uh, informal letter children so here the one letter writing we have already learned the letter writing so there here again they have given one more example of letter writing and which ha- which a child named pratap has written to his mother okay so this letter writing you have just go through it and relate to to that few questions are given in page number 73 like who has written the letter to whom the letter has been written so that that question answer that answer you have to give to that question after reading the letter okay so this activity you have to do it in the textbook only moving to the next main now write a letter to your friend or relative okay 
friend or relative in another city telling him her about activities even in your school follow the same pattern as above letter so what you have to do children here one space here they have given the space in page number 73 one letter you have to write it's again in formal letter so what you have to do like you have to write a letter to your friend or any relative okay in another city telling him that that relative and friend is staying in another city so what activities you have done here what events has been conducted in your school that you have to write it to your friend or relative like you can write like it is three months i have been shifted to delhi and i am excited to tell you that uh, it's a long time i have not updated you about my activities in my school like uh, we have celebrated the shira and uh, like uh, we have done vijay dashmi puja and we have performed a dance like uh, few things what all things we have just uh, uh, means we have just uh, provided uh, provide prasada to everyone so lot many things you can write what happen in your school to your friend okay so the same format you have to follow children now here moving on to the next one comprehension children comprehension means you have to just read the passage and answer the following question that has been given so you have to read it out by your hand and below that questions are given you can easily find the answer from that this thing you have to post it in the group okay again children what you have to do you have to write the answer to these questions and you have to post it in the group i want this in the group first the first find the words from the passage that mean the same like there are few words given in the passage which is having phrases okay like one word will be there like very hungry so very hungry you can use one word by telling starving to vanish means disappear okay so the, all the boys assembled in the cold stone hall here the word assembled means what does the you mean by assemble assemble means gathering okay collected these are the mean these are the meaning of assembled now from the word assemble remove the last two words and one letter to make a word which means a time at the school when the whole school gathers okay again they have given one example assemble so you have to just write ed in that this also you have to do it in the textbook only moving to the next main let's write okay here now when to learn and when to teach like to learn means to understand or to gain knowledge what is the meaning of learning means to understand and to receive knowledge teach means what how you explain the things what i am doing right now is teaching children what you are doing is you are learning something okay complete the following sentences using the correct form of teach and learn now here few examples have given for teach and learn in the box in the blue box you have to just fill those words in the sentences given below this also you have to do it in the textbook only children okay so now here will you teach me chess will you teach me chess okay here the first word sentence is what will you teach me chess next one mr sharma teaches class 9th okay class 8th the students have learned about road safety my sister has ta my sister has taught me how to ride a horse i have fear i have i i have learned some of the customs of india i learned how to cycle when i was just 4 years old children okay so these are the sentences which you have to correct it by writing from fill in the blanks and you have to do it in the textbook only moving to the next main choose the correct word and complete the paragraph here it is exclusively given past tense children so you have to just pick the word from the option and you have to fill in the blanks all the class fifth students of our school were now uh, students when it comes to students it is that means so many are there so it will come where gathering in front of the principal's office they were going for the inner school race the bus arrived okay everything is past tense children arrived and they were they left for the stadium the runners were taken to the starting point the runners took their position sir blew the whistle one student of our school ran fast and came first everyone did their best and our school won the trophy everyone felt jealous so everything what options we have selected that is all past tense children okay which is already over so those past tense words we have used to fill in the blanks read the flying sentence eklavia has been studying in the same class for two years for a period of time munna has been has was flying kite since morning from a time to time time 
to the past till the present. Fill in the blanks using for and since. I have lived in the house since I was a baby. So what is the first one? I have lived in the house since I was a baby. Next one, the big jar has been in our family. The big jar has been in our family for many years. The old banyan tree in the village has been there. Or what is that? The old banyan tree in the village has been there for the last 200 years. Nobody has seen him since yesterday. So children, there are few sentences given where we have to use for as well as since. And you have to complete the sentence. So this lesson is also got over my elder brother which is written by Munshi Premchand. Hope you all have enjoyed this lesson children. Just try to read it out. Okay, If you are have, having siblings, maybe your brother or sister, do this role play at home. You will really enjoy. Just take that, hold the textbook. Okay, One character you need to fix it out. Like suppose you are an elder brother, then the younger one will be the, your sibling like brother or sister and just read it out in a form of role play you will really enjoy this okay moving to the next one it's a grammar part children so we have already learned simple past tense present tense and future tense so in this video in continuation to the last one we are going to learn about the simple the present perfect tense okay so the present perfect tense what is present perfect tense the present perfect tense refers to an action or state that either occurred means which is already happened at an indefinite time means uh, in, a, in not a proper time in the past or begin in the past and continue to be present okay which is already over in the past but it is still continuing so that is called present perfect tense suppose the tense is formed by has have now here when you are forming a sentence what you have to use which tense you have to use has and have now when to use has okay so like when you are writing he has a book she has a book it has a boy okay it has a ball it has a uh, like bat so when these when you are using these words pronoun he she it that time you have to use has but at the same time have will be used when you are talking about i you they we okay so that time we have to use have the present perfect ten is tense is used to describe an action or situation that had started in the past and continues in the present i have lived okay i now when it is i what you have to do have what you have to use have not has lived in delhi since 1984 and still i do means the person has lived in delhi okay since 19 it's a past but still he is living there only he is not moved out okay he is living there means the action is continued in the present also an action performed during a period that has not yet finished. She has been to the cinema twice this week. Okay. So she has went to a cinema. She has went means she has already gone past. Twice this week means this week is going on. It is not over. A repeated action is an unspecified period between the past and now. We have visited Taj Mahal several times. Now they are talking about the Taj Mahal like we have visited. We have visited means it is already over. Several times still they are having a plan to visit. It will keep on continue in the present also. An action that has completed in the very recent past expressed by just. You now recently something would have completed. Okay. Some action would have finished. So what do you will just. What word you will use? Just. I just. I have just finished my homework. So you. So it is already over. Okay. But you are going to use a new word by placing it just. An action when the time is not important. He has read war and peace. Where the time is not important. Children like when he has read how he has that is not important. Here the reading is important. So this is the example of present perfect tense children. Hope you understood this. I am giving the worksheet of present perfect tense. Uh, in the PDF. So you, what you have to do. That worksheet you have to finish. You have to just write it down try to solve that and post it in the group so hope you are not having any doubts regarding this poem crying and the and the lesson my elder brother as well as grammar so we have come covered three things in this video so children till then take care of yourself have a nice time